Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Mike, your boy Mr. Chow here. And in this video, we're going to discuss and talk about two different types of amphetamines. First being Vyvanse, second being Adderall. We're going to break down some of the similarities and differences between the two. So let's begin. So just in general, starting off, um, Vyvanse and Adderall are both CNS or central nervous system stimulants. So they speed up um, your body's central nervous system, get things going a little bit, if you will. And, um, you know, in general, they're both prescribed for people with ADHD um, to help them focus, concentrate, be less, um, you know, jittery the whole nine yards. Whereas Adderall is actually also prescribed for narcolepsy. So that being said, that's another thing it's prescribed for. Um, but both of them are prescribed primarily used and used for uh, ADHD when all is said and done. So, yeah. So Adderall and Vyvanse, how are they like? How are they different? Let's touch base on that. So Vyvanse, um, it's a pro drug, which mean, uh, means it has to be metabolized in your body, um, you know, per se, for it to actually take effect and to begin working. Whereas Adderall is not a pro drug. So you can actually take it orally like you're supposed to, or the people that abuse it can sniff it, they can shoot it um, intravenously. Um, the, whole, the whole nine yards, like I said before. So um, that's the difference right there off the bat with Adderall versus Vyvanse, or Vyvanse versus Adderall, if you will. Vyvanse comes in, I believe, doses of like, starts at like five or 10 milligrams, don't quote me on that, and it goes all the way up to 70 milligrams, whereas Adderall starts off at like five, 10 milligrams and goes all the way, you know, in between all the way up to, I believe, 30 milligrams, actually. So yeah, Adderall takes about 30 minutes to an hour to begin working, especially the instant release version of Adderall will begin working within like 20, 30, 40 minutes. The longer extended release version will take maybe 45 minutes to an hour and a half to begin taking effect and so on and so forth. Whereas Vyvanse is going to take anywhere hands down between an hour and a half, maybe an hour, you know, if, if, if you're some of those in the select few that it hits you in an hour, but generally speaking, an hour and a half to two hours for it to take full effect and then go from there. So, yeah, I can say from experience, I take both of them prescribed to me by my doctor. Five ants definitely comes on a little bit weaker and it takes a little longer to, to have the onset of action occur, whereas the Adderall comes on stronger, faster, um, all that. Um, I do notice though that Vyvanse tends to last longer than Adderall though, when all is said and done. So that's a difference in itself right there. You know, the side effect profile of these medications, you know, some side effects can include, I'm not going to list them all obviously, but give or take, some could be nausea, um, upset stomach, lack of appetite, um, increased heart rate, sweating. Um, dilated pupils. So I've even seen some cases uh, constricted pupils, but it usually tends to be um, dilated pupils. Um, what else? What else? You know, um, headache. Um, but with all that being said, without going into further details on the side effects, some of the um, positive things people take these for besides treatment for ADHD and narcolepsy in the case of Adderall, um, people who abuse it or take it recreationally per se, they're seeking the high of um, in enthusiasm the, seeking the high of the thrill of taking it which you get out of it which is um you know energy increased energy motivation focus confidence um all that type of stuff it all you know is related in a sense um so that's why people abuse it to get that feeling overall jumping back to how long the duration of action is for each medication vibance tends to last between 13 and 14 hours whereas adderall extended release will last between 8 to 12 hours and the immediate release will last between Honestly, it just varies per person, but three to four hours, up to six hours, you know, if you even get that far with it. Just throwing it out there, it's a lot easier to misuse and abuse Adderall to an extent than it is over Vyvanse, you know. Anyways, when all is said and done, both these medications do wonders for people who actually need it to help them with ADHD or narcolepsy and so on and so forth. Um, they do their purpose, they do their job. So yeah, um, that being said, they can also be misused, go figure, like I've uh, stated uh, previously. And um, with that being said, um, there are a lot of similarities and differences between these two medications, Vyvanse and Adderall, Adderall and Vyvanse. Um, and I just wanted to touch upon it briefly in this video. Um, I could go on and on listing more facts versus fact versus fiction and all, the whole nine yards, but I'm going to cut it short. Just wanted to do a brief touch base video with y'all about these two medications. Um, so with that being said, like I say all the time, with that being said, with that being said, um, this concludes this video. Hope you guys got something out of it briefly. If you did, drop a like down below. Drop a comment down below. Let me know your experience with taking Adderall and Vyvanse, how you compare them personally speaking, um, and all that. And uh, if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you smash that subscribe button to stay tuned for all the content coming out on my channel. Word of me, got lots of stuff coming out, so stay tuned. You'll be glad you did.
Anyways, though, until next time, cheers and ciao. Peace. Be easy. Catch you on the flip side. Thanks for watching.